Hey everybody, BuilderDude35 here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to build and implement dog gears into your robot. This is going to be useful for anything from a mechanical engineering project to an FLL robot. All that and more after this. Now at this point you're probably wondering what a dog gear is and why they're useful. Now a dog gear is a two-part clutch that essentially allows two shafts to couple into each other within seconds. And this is useful for a lot of things, but today I'm going to be showing you how you can use it in an FLL robot to save time switching out attachments. Because instead of taking your motor out and then putting your attachment on the motor, you can now have your motor in one place at all times. And then if your robot is, has the dog gears, you just clip your attachments on and it locks into the motor just like that and it's just so easy to remove you just pull it off so now I'm going to show you step by step how to build these dog gears now here's a close-up diagram of how these dog gears work so here I've laid out all of the parts that you need to build a dog gear as you see there's not a lot of pieces involved and this is just to build one dog gear so you're gonna start by taking these two clutch plates here and making sure all of the six holes align you're going to take one of these rounded pegs and you're going to push it all the way through both clutch plates like this. And then you're going to take the other two and you're going to snap these in like this until it makes a triangle just like that. And then the next thing you're going to do, well now you've made the half that goes on the robot and then this is the half that goes into the attachment. And how these work is this is constantly rotating and then this clips into here like this and then these two rotate together these three pieces are optional you can put them on each arm of this rotor here and what this is going to do is eliminate all of the play in your system but that's not even necessary so now we're going to take our little decoy attachment here you're going to attach uh, your rotor on here like so and then this is going to go on your robot just like this so now when your motor spins and you put this up to here it should spin just like that okay so you've put one half of the dog gear on the rotating shaft of your motor and the other half the rotor is on every one of your attachments but there's still one more part left as you see here even though I have the dog gear on there's nowhere for me to clip my attachment on so this is the before and then this is after. I'll show you now the front of my robot where I have completed the entire system. You need to have some point of attachment for your attachment. Now what I suggest is to put a beam frame around your dog gear like this and keep in mind that I can't tell you exactly what to do because I don't know what your robot is like so I'm just giving you suggestions. So this beam frame it should not be able to be removed accidentally so if I pushed on it or pulled it it shouldn't come out because you don't want your robot to fall apart in the heat of an FLL match the other thing to do is to use these pegs to secure your attachment now what these are are these and you're going to push them in through this way so they can't be pulled out and then once they're in put something behind them so they can't be pushed out either so like you see here I can't pull or push these and then, so now this gives you a good place to clip in your attachment. And now it's locked into the motor, so the motor can drive it. And now you're ready to build off of this platform here to whatever attachment your heart desires. Thank you for watching this video all the way through. If you found it helpful, please like it and subscribe for more videos like this. Next, in next week's video, I'm going to be proving how taller wheels give you more traction and speed out of an equivalent motor rotation. So tune in for that next week. Thank you.